oxygen sucking oil plumes discovered, UK votes in the greenest government to date, and hazing for hungry sea lions. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Monday, May 17th. Scientists have discovered enormous plumes of oil, one up to 10 miles long and three miles wide, in the deep waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Scientists call the discovery shocking given the relatively small amount of oil visible on the surface of the ocean. The deep water plumes are a double whammy, creating high levels of toxicity in fish while stimulating microbe growth that has caused the first ever 30% drop in ocean oxygen levels near the plume. Scientists are concerned that the oxygen levels could drop so low as to kill off much of the sea life near the plumes. Britain's newly elected Prime Minister David Cameron wants his coalition administration to be the greenest government ever. While addressing the Department of Energy and Climate Change, Cameron pledged to cut carbon emissions by 10% in the first 12 months. Liberal Democrat Chris Hewn, who will run the department, called climate change the greatest challenge facing mankind and promised to go further and faster than ever before. Critics say that history will judge just how green this administration is by its policies to cut UK emissions and to get a fair international climate deal. And finally, the once endangered California sea lion are now being hazed by government officials for overconsumption of salmon. It's estimated that hungry sea lions devoured 4,000 salmon last year, putting the future of wild salmon at serious risk. If a specific sea lion is found at the Bonneville Dam eating salmon for more than five days, it will be put down by lethal injection. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.